Welcome to another episode of Saturday Selections with Punting Pato. Oh gee, this weekend I'm looking at the Mooney Valley meeting and first off I'm going to kick us off with the winner in race two, number three, Doubtful Jack. This bloke looked pretty smart when he won on debut in June. Last start he finished two and a half lengths behind Pat Giannini's soul, but he meets him much better off at the weights in this. I reckon he's worth a go. And then after that, I'm going for race three. Number eight, Head Over Heels. Another one from the Inform Moody stable. She broke her met maiden impressively last start. This is a bit of a step up, but from barrier six and a bit of natural improvement, she could give this a shake. And then after that, I'm going for race eight. Number ten, this guy. Last time this bloke raced at the valley was over this distance and he narrowly missed out behind Johan's love who was racing in good form at that time. Kiss had a similar lead up to this but in much harder races. Knew it jumps on board and from barrier two I think he'll be hard to beat. And now it's time for Pato's Puffer and it's race six, number eleven, Beltra. Look, this fella kept stepping up to the plate last preparation. His last start was a win at the track in distance. Look, this is his toughest test, but he only has to carry 53 kilograms and he should be a nice little price. And now it's time for Double of Glory. Double of Glory, what is your tip? Tip us a winner or two Thank you, Dartboard, my Dartboard of Glory Oh, Dartboard of Glory's been on fire lately, hasn't it? Ha ha ha! Oh, gee, ha <laughs> ha! And now it's time for our favourite Queenslander, Keith! He's a good bloke, he's a Queenslander, his name is Keith, oh yes! How's it going, big fella? That's good, good. I knew you'd be well. Now look, we'll start in Sydney. Race 6. There's a mare by the name of Court Clary Connors trains resuming down there. Over 1150 metres. Look, 1150 might be a touch short for a fresh, but it might be just long enough with plenty of speed up front. So I'm hoping she'll be storming home late and getting the biggies. If she doesn't win, she should run a hole at least for us. And then we'll go up here to Brisbane and the recognition stakes over a mile. And Pepperwood here, I like Pepperwood. He's one of the best horses we got up here in Queensland. Trained by one of our best, Liam Birchley. When this horse is ready to win, he loves the mile, by the way. When he's ready to win, he's very hard to beat. He'll go very close. And another one here in Brisbane, just quickly, is over the 2,118 metres, to be exact. Class 6 is a horse by the name of Fort and One, who ran second last start at Huge Elts. And I don't mind telling you some nice bets will land here at headquarters, Pato, because it was stiff as two starts before that. Anyway, it's on the seven day backup and it's a tough customer and I reckon it'll race very well again. At least stays normally do when they race well one week, seven day backup, they normally back it up up here in prison. And then they go missing after that. Alright Pat, I have a good time on the punt, mate, eh? Hooray. Oh, thanks, mate! Oh, thanks, mate! Ha 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 ha! Oh, geez, a good bloke, isn't he? Hope you're back a few winners on the weekend, mate! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, well, I tell you what, I've written a Cracker Jack new song. Here it is. Take it away, Paddle! Just one month of the to go. I wonder if it will go slow. It's perfect on the winter bottom. It's gonna be a Cracker Jack race. is my name Horse racing is my favorite sport Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Well, I hope you have a great weekend and happy punting!